Hey, hey folks, welcome back to Final Fantasy VIII with me, B81. Today we are going to carry on exploring Ultimecia's castle, prepping ourselves for the final encounter with her, and hopefully unsealing a few more of our powers and killing a few more of, of her guardians, I guess, uh, you could call them. I have no clue what's down here. Um, it would seem what's down here is a waste of uh, time for me. Well, there's a lot of gargoyles uh, over the place that look like they should be bosses if you can reach them, but um, at the same time, the way they're drawn, it seems more like they're uh, they just they're just background, I think. Uh, can't do anything on this. No one can draw. Okay, let's head over here. Let's see if there's any sort of clue. No. Do re mi fa. I've got no clue. Um, I don't think I've come across any clues to it yet. And I can't see anything obvious in it. So, let's head this way. Uh, anything in this direction? Hmm. A dark and dreary alleyway. Nothing down there, I've seen. Might be able to open that. I don't know. Hoi. I've not come across anything yet that seems to require the other party. I do know there are parts where you need um, one party to stand somewhere and do something, and uh, another party will. Like, uh, and the other party will be able to get somewhere due to that. That's what I was trying to say there. Uh, let's try this door then. Um. Oh, we're back here, are we? Back at the beginning. That's alright. That's kind of good, because it means we can have a look at the places we missed in the first room. Uh, so there's a door up there to the right. Let's try to the left, see what's over here. Um. really be looking at more things, I suppose, as I go through here and seeing if I can find any hints and such. Anything in here? Ooh. It's a weird perspective. How Resident Evil. Hmm? Do we need to... Huh? I think we need the other party up there. And it pulls us up. Okay, so let's switch to the other party. And try that out. First off, first thing I need to do is Junction Exchange. Squalt with Zelt. Quit this with Irvine. And Selfie of Renoa. And... Uh, actually, I'm going to on them, so... Shouldn't matter if I'm not full health, in all honesty. Okay, uh, so how would I get up there? Do I think? Um, I know, I don't think I missed any doors when I was going this way, but I'm just going to double check. Um, as I say, I am doing this, uh, for those of you who, weren't, who didn't see last episode, I am doing this blind, so there's going to be a lot of me running around not knowing what I'm doing. But. That's part, half the fun, I guess, in this situation. Um, yeah, I need to get up there. So, let's head back. I think the f there was nothing, no directions we could have turned off. What the? I didn't know if that light was doing something. Hmm. No, I don't need to switch to the party. Hmm. can't look at these pictures or anything. Like, I'm looking for anything that can give me any sort of clues or hints uh, towards other 
uh, things. Um, let's check out this door, I guess. Oh, uh, can't do anything in there. Oh no, here we come. What's this? Can't look at it. Alright then, let's carry on down and head through the door. Door number one. Well, technically door number, what, 16, 17? Definitely a few doors. Uh, gonna go through this room. This is one room where I actually know there is something in there. But I'm gonna hold off for now. I think I actually need to. Hmm. Should I go try and work on getting Squall and his party up if I can? Let's actually can I just go back there? I'm just gonna have a quick. Ooh, creepy. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I do like the uh, graph. Here we go. Switch to the other party members. But nothing happens. Hmm. Or it does. Huh? So I'll go up only when you step off it. Hmm. That's weird. Either way, let's junction. Let's get everybody's junctions back to normal. Uh, and we'll knock them up to full health because I think those two bosses I could have uh, done that. But uh, or at least two possible bosses. That's the way. Right. Let's head back the direction that those three were in then. Hmm. That was weird. Well, either way, let's uh, head back. I'm still. Uh, that's going to bug me, trying to figure that out. I like to think I'm a smart guy, but there is a lot of things. Uh, like, And I love puzzles, but there is a lot of uh, things I just overlook when trying to figure out puzzles and such. But, uh. Let's head down here and through that door again. And we'll check out this room. I'm pretty sure there's a boss in this room. But it requires a bit of uh, puzzling out. The title is... It's too faint to read. Now, if we look around at the other pictures... Ignis. Inandantia. Eudicium. Uh, picture here. Intervigi intervigilium. So, so far there's been fire, flood, judgment, sleep. Uh, let's go from the left and work our way around. Fire, Flood, Judgment, Sleep, Cowardice... Red Clothes... Tree-Lined Road... Swordfish... Some of these are very specific. Mm, although I guess they all are. They all. Um, oh no, I think that was actually the one I was trying to click on. There was this one. Love. Messenger. Hmm. Watchman.
garden. And that would be it, it would seem. It doesn't look like there's any paintings on the walls that we can't actually see due to our perspective, fortunately. So let's have another look at this one. The title is... It's too faint to read. The title of this picture is... It looks like... Hmm. I'm trying to see what there is really there, but... I honestly couldn't... Uh, I suppose it's got Ignis, technically the sun. That's a ball of fire, right? Uh, I've got another one. Um... I don't really see anything else that we've seen. I mean, there's water, but I wouldn't really call it a flood. Uh, and I honestly have no clue. Uh, Vividarium, <laughs> just for the hell of it. I doubt that's it. Nope, nothing happened. You know what? Uh, I may have to actually look at that because I looked that up because I just could not figure that out. Um, I really can't. Uh. All right, I can honestly say I would have never got this in a million years. <laughs> um, I am just not that smart. If you head up to this floor, apparently. We can, uh, it's actually better on the other side. One thing I hadn't even noticed, I'll admit, and I kind of feel bad for not noticing it now I see where it is, is that giant clock face on the floor pointing to uh, 8, 3, or 4 even, and 6. Now, that's basically the, um, that's the free paint that indicates free paintings that we need the names for. I believe it's seconds, minutes, hours. But the way this is done is the V indicates whether there's a V in the name or not. The I's indicate the amount of I's in the name. So if we look around, first we're looking for something with a V and a single I. So that has two V's, but has one, two, three I's. That could be eight, however. Uh, that could be the hour. Or in fact, rather than looking at them, let's go with, what is it? It's six for the um, seconds, four for the minutes, and eight for the hour. So seconds is six, that's VI. It's got a V and a single I. That would be a Viator. Next is minutes, which is four, which is, uh, wait, it was four, it's a V and two I's, isn't it? Yeah, V and two I's. So that would be vigil. And V and three I's would be eight, meaning that intervigilium. No, that's not right. Um, yeah, it'd be vividarium, right? Is this good? No. Let's have a quick look at the thing and make sure I got that right, because that four, for some reason I'm... I know the new, Roman numeral should be two eyes before a V, but yeah, it, it shows us four eyes in this case. Okay. So there's no V in it, basically. I Meaning that I was off there due to that. Uh, damn this game and its non-accuracy to Roman numerals. Also, it wouldn't be two eyes before a V, would it? It'd be one eye before a V. Yeah. Okay, Viator is six seconds. No eyes, but four... Uh, sorry, no Vs, but four eyes would be... Uh, is there a no? Zipio. Um, no Vs, but four eyes. Intervigil... Uh, no? Uh, Eudicium. 
Innan Danshia. Okay, that's got one eye. That's got two eyes. That's got three eyes. That's got four eyes, but it's got a V. That's got one eye. That's got one eye. That's got no eyes. That's got two eyes. And then it's got Vs. Huh? I guess into Vigilion? Uh, it might be that it indicates it starts with a V, I guess. Uh, and then H would be Vividarium. Let's try that backwards. Maybe I was, maybe it's hours, minutes, seconds. Vividarium, into Vigilium, and then Viator. There we go. In the garden sleeps a messenger. See, I don't see... Uh, I guess that's a garden. Yeah, it makes sense now. But I don't see a messenger. Oh no, yeah I do. There's a little boy uh, sleeping there. But, having uh, cheated my way to success, let's actually do the boss fight. Oh, I feel bad for having to cheat my way through that, but... Blimey, I would have never got that. Okay. i got to say, even cheating, I still sucked at it pretty bad. But, um, either way. Let's get rid of that little guy before he does anything nasty. That's easy to get rid of, though. I might leave Squall on uh, little guy duty. Okay, uh, get rid of him, Squall. That's fairly easy, fortunately. And he counters as well. Oh no, yeah, the counter got rid of him and the attack. Huh, that was nicely done, actually. Um, let's try a Thundergo. Oh! That's not really that worrying. I'm going to throw a triple onto Selfie so she can be a good healer, just in case something big comes out. Uh, that did do a huge amount of damage. But actually, that said, three of them do more damage than she was doing attacking. Now she's doing more damage than Irvine was doing attacking. Triple. Let's get some Kyogres off. Keeping Squall on backup just in case any more of those Lillans come out. I don't know what they do, but I feel like it's probably a good idea to keep them under control. Uh, if that makes sense. And miss. Let's do three Thundergers on him. And counted. I'm fine with him attacking Squall. And that's a nice bit of damage actually when she uses three of them. It definitely makes using a triple uh, very useful. He's only got, uh, like, oh no, he got off his laser cannon, didn't he? I was going to say he's only got one hit off so far, but he got off laser cannon and the little guy got hit off as well. But still, for a final area boss, this guy isn't being that much of a threat. Mm. Then again, I don't want to get cocky again. We know, all well, know what happened last time it happened. Everybody heal up. And down he goes. It's fairly easy. The Guardian of the Gallery. And with that, I should be able to unlock my limit breaks. Yes. Yay, limit breaks. Oh no, I've got limit breaks, sorry. Uh, so I get resurrection or save. Save, I think, is a better idea. Um, okay, let's head on through here and see what this is in the water. Oh, that's not water. 
do. This is the thing that dropped off the bridge from those things. Armory key. Okay. What's this? Used armory key. Okay. The armory is down here. Oh. Hello there, visage. Face my wrath for seeking thy soul for sealed power. I'm assuming this is a little more than a visage, though. Is it supposed to be a boss? You'd think. Uh, let's focus attacks on the head to start off with. You're going to triple yourself straight off there, I think. Uh, selfie? And Irvine? Shoot him in the face. Curse. 112. Oh, and she's doomed, effectively. Oh. Maybe he's not... Oh, yep, yeah, maybe he's not more than a village. This is a village. He's a little more than a village, possibly. Uh, but he's not a visage. Uh, yeah. He is a visage from looks things. He's maybe a powerful one. With that doom ability, but... Hmm. He's gone down fairly easily. Almost gone completely, it would seem. This is probably the easiest of the boss fights. Oh, but wait. He's a little more than a visage. Well, now. Hmm. I'll admit, starting to make me wish I had. Now, which is going to hurt them when they attack? No, maybe not. Uh, oh, they're slowed though. Cancel that out on yourself. Yes, there we go. Uh, you are also go uh, you're going to use an aura on Squall, I think, at this point. We need to kind of hurry things up, otherwise, you're going to die. Then again, if I get resurrection for this fight, that's not going to be too much of a problem. Um, Renzo Kuken. Okay then, let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And Fated Circle. Not a Lionheart attack, but uh, you know what, I'll take it. Extra bit of damage. And honestly, I'm not sure if this guy will even need a Lionheart. Squall's doing a fair bit of damage just with his basic Renzo Kuken. Yeah, there we go. Doesn't take much uh, to take these bosses down with my characters, it would seem. Awesomely done. Ah, there we go. Nice little stretch there. All right, now what's then? Um, want resurrection back, I think. And then we've got four more bosses before we go for Ultimicia herself. Anything over here? Or is this? This is definitely an armory. Is that a lever? That's what I'm trying to press X on. It seems to be a lever, but. I don't know what it does, because I can't click on it. Alright, I think I'm actually going to call it here for the... Ooh, actually, yeah, I'm going to call it here for the episode, folks. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. This has been Final Fantasy VIII. I've been being 8-1. And I will catch you next time. Bye-bye now.